Dustin Poirier. All right, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got us to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about the defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Great punch. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Ooh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Just out of range with that right hook. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice job by Dustin Fourier there. Sticks the target and then moves his head off the center line to avoid the, the comeback shot. Head off the center line and watch from the counter. That beautiful straight left that he drove over and over. Just over three minutes now to go. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. So just wow! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Lips. Oh, big left. Oh, straight right. Big right hand there. Oh, straight right. Two minutes now to go in the opening round. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Big knee there to the chest. Trying to establish that jab once again. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Right on the button. Poirier's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Jab. He's got huge hands and certainly was able to find the home for his jab there. I mean, the king of Lafayette has got it going tonight. Dustin Poirier fights in the southpaw, but he's a right-handed guy. That's why that jab does so much damage to his opponent. Still nice body kick land. Nice punch there. Great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, no shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time, you gotta make sure nothing oh. lands. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations to me. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Oh, beautiful entry as he secures the double leg takedown. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Under three minutes now to go in round two. Oh, 
reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. 48 total strikes have landed for Donald Cowboy Serena. Oh! Oh, massive diving punch, flush to the head. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somehow. he loved, I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back, you need to be up on an elbow, right. you need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the mat. Gotta be careful, Armbar. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. It's in there deep. There's